The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com. Please support The David Pakman Show by becoming a member at davidpakman.com slash membership. Pennies a day, a ton of great benefits, and it goes straight to supporting The David Pakman Show. Uh, Republican Congressman Roscoe Bartlett from Maryland says that federal student loans are really just a slippery slope that could lead all the way down that slope, must be Everest-sized slope, to a holocaust. Very, very strange comments. Let's listen to what he had to say. Interesting stuff. The audio is not great. I apologize in advance. Not that it's not a good idea to give students loans. It certainly is a good idea to give them loans. But if you can ignore the Constitution to do something good today, tomorrow you will be ignoring the Constitution to do something bad. You could. There are more people in our in America today of German ancestry than any other, including the English. The Holocaust that occurred in Germany. How in the heck could that happen? And when you start down the wrong road, it can be a very slippery slope. What, what a weird thing. You go from talking about student loans to, you know... To ignoring the Constitution, to how many Germans uh, live in our country, to the Holocaust. Very strange. And plus, it's all irrelevant because we all know, Lewis, if it's a legitimate Holocaust, the female body can just shut down the entire student loan, and that's it. That's the end of it. You don't even have to worry about it anymore. Apparently, you can shut down the gas chamber, too. Yeah, it shuts the whole yeah. thing down if it's not legitimate. This could just be, like, senility or something like that. I don't know. The other thing is, federal spending on education is constitutional, period. I mean, that's just it. If, if, it, if, if we want to engage him in his insanity, it, it is constitutional. Not and at only the moment, that. What's I was, that I was going to say one more thing. Not only is it constitutional, if he really thought it was unconstitutional, you can file a complaint, uh, you can sue the government, and if it really is unconstitutional, it'll go up to the Supreme Court or an appeals court and actually be ruled unconstitutional. Yeah, by all those liberal Supreme Court justices. Well, that's what he would say. Oh, wait a second. Right. Uh, Bartlett and House Republicans still voted to eliminate Pell Grants for more than a million students. The Republican Party has promised to undo the student loan reform signed into law by President Obama. What's a better example of stimulative spending than ed education for people who will then go on to be more productive in their lives, earn more money, pay more taxes, allow the U.S. to better compete worldwide? That sounds really horrible. Let's give tax cuts to, to be, rich to people. To be innovators, to be inventors, creators. Uh... Yeah, let's give tax cuts to rich people instead. Good idea. That'll work. They'll just put it in the bank. It'll, It'll just trickle down. It'll trickle down to the, from the bank to uh, interest in their same bank accounts. Big trickle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. More like a drop. Not even. Into their own accounts. Yeah. It's an upward drop. It is. It's like a reverse gravity trickle. It just stays right there. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't actually move at all. It's a zero gravity uh, yeah. movement. Exactly.